We got to do the floors that uh, the appraiser decided we had to have sealer on because we were just going to leave them natural and let them wear. Um, and I could not bring myself to seal these and have them turn all yellow and orange. And so I've decided to do a whitewash and then seal them with uh, Sweet Pickens oil wax in white. Um, because it's going to be matte and it'll still, will seal them while allowing them to wear over time. And we'll show you guys the stairs that I did last night. The stairs are cool. They are really cool weathered finish. So anyways, we have 2,600 square feet of flooring to do. And this particular finish is really forgiving. And if people step on it or there's dust, it's not going to ruin it. Whereas like if I used a traditional sealer, oh, everybody man. would be out for like a few days. It took me a whole day just to do a bathroom, which we can show you that look too so you guys can see it. So yeah. we're going to get started. All the products that we're using, you can buy at JanuaryVintage.com. Um, and it doesn't take much paint because we're using mostly water, making a faux stain and whitewash. And I'm going to turn over comments to Zeb. I get to watch comments because Jamie is the, uh, the mastermind behind this whitewash finish. The nice thing is that we've noticed sometimes with, this is red oak. And sometimes when you try to do like a whitewash or whatever, it'll bleed through and you'll get like a little bit of like a pink effect. And we haven't been getting that. Yeah. And, you know, we're, we're kind of sad that we're having to do this last minute, but I'm glad that it's going to get done. Um, we have two appraisers that we're working with, and the first one I sent him pictures. I was like, here's farmhouses with floors without sealer. They're beautiful. They wear over time. He's like, okay, that's fine. Here's your hit list. Seb and I are like, no problem. We can do that in our sleep. We can even start removing furniture. And the next appraiser is like, I don't care. You have to do all that. Oh, and let me add like eight other things that they want done. So... Yeah, so we've been busy again, no sleep, and uh, you know, it's oh only God. a couple nights of no sleep that we Where's that water? Oh, let me go grab the water. I think I hauled it off to the other room. Water is like the key component. Oh, right so here. DIY paint is heavily pigmented. It's all natural, water-based. Um, and this is also great because if it gets on the floorboard, it's not going to be a problem. This is my water. <laughs> That's the water we have. Mm. Hopefully the echo is not too tough in here. There's no furniture in the room, so... We'll try to talk clearly so you can hear us. I'm just using my Zebra two inch angled brush. This thing has been working extra hard on all of the trim. So this has just got water in it and just a hint of paint. This is an old can of uh, beadboard that's ran out and she's got about half full right now. I'm tucking in my pants so y'all don't get a view you don't want. And I'm just using DIY's beadboard because that is the color du jour and some water. So I get the floor wet and I already have some beadboard on my brush. So just dip it in the paint, dip it in the water and go. And areas that are like really kind of crusty or have like a lot of um, filler on them, then I add more paint. And the good thing is you can actually come back and if there's any cracks you want to fix, it looks really great if you just use white caulking. <laughs> so we did that in the uh, bathroom and it worked out really, really well. Everybody's saying hi. We have another floor already done. So I'm just gonna do a small area so that way you can see what the whitewash looks like and then we'll get straight over to the oil wax. And then I can come back in here later. Do you need me to follow behind you and wipe anything back or are you no, mostly it's... doing it with the brush? No, I, I'll wipe it back, but it's okay if it sits on there for a little bit. It's, you know, if it gets too dark or light, you can really reactivate it with water and it's really, really forgiving. It kind of gives it a pickled effect. It also uniforms these floors. There are seconds. We paid $1.29 a square foot for oak, which is a steel. I'm going to go get a brush because I can help you with that. No, I'm, I'm done. Okay, give me that rag. I like microfiber rag. They're my favorite. You could also use socks or whatever. Socks are good. Uh, t-shirts, old t-shirts work well. Yeah, and I just wipe with the grain. I'll bring you close so you guys can see that you can how much grain you can still see here. Yeah. And you could do this with any paint, like any color, not any paint, but like if you wanted it to be brown, you could use weathered wood or layered chocolate or whatever. The DIY is especially good because of all the pigmentation and the clay. I think that's why we're not getting like the pink or yellow tones out of it because it's it's uh, not got any solvents or anything in yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, I thought about just using other products, but I don't have time to mess around. It's got to turn out right. So you can do multiple layers 
Um, you can go thicker with the paint. Like sometimes I'll come in, see right here, there's like a lot of filler here. And I don't want to see that yellow filler. And I'll come in with more paint there and there and just kind of cover it up. The oil wax is white too. So it'll, it'll cover it up some more too. All right, hopefully this helps you guys out. If you don't have wood floors to do, you can do this exact finish on a tabletop or a dresser, anything that's raw wood, this technique is gonna work on. So I know most people don't have oak floors, but this is a useful technique for any. So this is essentially, my, I mean, we did a white oil wax on our butcher blocks, and that's pretty close to the look we got with the, the Sweet Pickens oil yeah, wax. Yeah, we had to do multiple coats to get this. So I decided to do the whitewash first, then the oil wax, so I could get to that look a little bit faster. So let's show them the bathroom. Okay. Um, which is the same technique, only we used a water-based floor sealer. Still a little bit of a mess. I had to go, these are antique sinks and you just can't go down to the hardware store and get the stuff to put them in. So I've got to go to a specialty plumbing supply house this morning once they open and much, get that. Uh, much to Zeb's dismay, I called in our friend Mike from Budget Plumbing. No, Mike's good. He Plumbing came right like, over. I don't need help. And I was like, I'm calling Mike. Well, I had figured it out how to get like a bunch of pieces from Home Depot and, and make it work. And he's like, no, just go over to uh, this this place over in, I think it's in Pleasant Grove. And he's like, just go over there. And they've just got the whole fitting. You just have to screw it in and you're done. Yeah. So <laughs> he's he's great. Mike's a wealth of knowledge and he loves old sinks. So I was like, he'll be able to help you. He, so showed, he showed me three of his old sinks while he was here. He had pictures. I'm sure he did. He has a little <laughs> All right, so this is the same technique, except for I used a water-based floor sealer. So it's probably pulling out more of the warmer tones than we're gonna get, because liquid sealers do that. And this has four coats of sealer on it. It's pretty bulletproof though. Like Yeah, we have totally not been gentle with it, and we waited about 24 hours to walk on it, and it's held up really well. So same technique, beadboard and water. Only difference is we sealed it with like, just your Home Depot water-based floor sealer. It'll be great for the boys, you know, they're gonna go swimming in this huge tub back here and, you know, there's gonna get water on the floor. He thinks he's Shamu. Somebody wanna know if we could do it with like a Swiffer mop? Yeah, if you have like a microfiber. Yeah, there's a I lot think, of different ways you could do this. So I've seen it done with sponge rollers. Um, oh, I need a roller and a tray. Okay. And I need you to open that can. So All right. Them. I'll show them this floor while you're doing that. Okay, I'll go get some stuff. All right, guys. Whoa, that's really close. I haven't showered in a few days, and these pants are like four days old, so sorry. <laughs> so here is, let's see if we can, no, I can't use that. This is the floor in our master bedroom closet, and I've already whitewashed it. I did it this morning. Let's see, we can set the camera right there. I'll just do this. I already whitewashed it this morning and it looks good. So all we have to do now is apply the oil wax and then wait like 30 minutes, wipe it back, and it'll be good. Yeah, see these pants? They're like, I went to Home Depot this morning. I look like everybody, all the rest of the contractors. I'll just sit down here and talk to you. I'm too tired to hold the camera. So in our, um, master closet we have baseboards and then we went with the vertical ship lap so it turned out pretty good and then the oak flooring we got from lumber liquidators we keep getting asked where we got it from so i just want you to know we're not uh paid to tell you about it but if you buy over 800 square feet you can get it for a dollar 29 a square foot and you could do i mean if you wanted a gray finish you could use gray or you could use black that would be really good um you can see gray on my hands because our Stairs are weather wood and white wax. They turn out cool. Zeb's taking a minute. <laughs> Caitlin says I'm cuter than the other contractors. I'm not gonna lie. I use my, my cuteness to get people to load stuff in my cart for me. <laughs> Let me see what people are saying. Uh, let's see. Hey Jane Brown, Donna's crafting. I did not pass the inspection from the appraiser. They have to come back tomorrow. We need lots of prayers because one inspector is cool. He responds to texts. The other appraiser just kind of like randomly showed up and then he's the one that's like, you got to finish the floors. And I'm like, I was not planning on finishing these floors. So. Okay. And Odelia was the one who sanded these floors. The mo it's really important that your finish be nice and smooth. So that way you don't get any splinters. 
Oh, we forgot the tripod. That's weird. Yeah, you forgot the tripod, and my hands are not wanting to hold that up. So I'm just gonna talk to him like this until you get back. Yeah, so the whitewash is bead board. I probably use like, I don't know, a fifth of a quart maybe to do this entire floor. So it's not gonna take much um, bead board. I did buy 10 gallons of oil wax and you can buy oil wax by the gallon. I don't know if it's up on the website that way, Caitlin can let you know, um, but I had to buy 10 gallons because I wanted to make sure that we had enough. So there we go. <laughs> Okay, do you want to just pour the oil wax out then? Um, let's try it. A pan? I couldn't find a pan. If you can be gentle with it, we can just pour it out. It's okay, fine. I got a ruler there for you. It is bright and white. It says 16 ounces because this is the same label, but this is a whole gallon. It's a whole gallon. And shout out to Sasha. She got me 10 gallons of this real fast yesterday. I texted her and I was like, hey, um, so how many gallons of oil wax do you have in stock? So I think because we've got a gallon, I'm going to start in this corner over here. I'm going to okay, take my shoes off too. Yeah, you should probably. I'm going to have to sacrifice. Take your socks off. Please, no. I no. don't want to get oils in my. Yeah. There's no lint on these. The last time you did that, you got, please take your socks Yeah, but this off. is oil wax. Is that right? No, I'm not taking those no socks right. off. <laughs> if you get fuzzies in my finish, I guess they're, I, I can't threaten you with anything because I love you too much, but please don't. <laughs> okay, so I just gotta, I just dip that in there because we can't find the pan. Okay, careful, don't get it. Try not to get it on the... You might need to go get a brush and brush this edge. Okay, I'll so get a brush. If you don't want me to roll her up onto the board. All right, I'll be back. Okay. So this will tone back. It looks like it's just painting it white, but it soaks down in. It'll suck it down into the wood. And anywhere you've got like puddles or something, you can just roll back over it because you want it on there pretty good and thick. So on this, the oil wax, we'll let this sit for about mm, 40 minutes or so, maybe an hour, and then come back and wipe it back off. You don't want to uh, let it sit on there indefinitely because you'll get a lot of highs and lows. You want to almost buff it in once it's had time to soak into the wood. And you can, if we wanted to, we could polish these with like a floor polisher. I mean, you could do it with elbow grease if you've got like a small, like a, like a dresser top or a table. I don't think we're going to be buffing the floors by hand. And oil wax smells like a number two pencil. Yeah. In case you're it goes away pretty quick once it's dry. Yeah, I would say a couple of days it starts to dissipate. So maybe to, I think it's going on thick enough. It's got, you can use a sponge roller. This has got a little bit of, uh, some. this has some bubbles in it. But I think that's not even going to be an issue because, like I said, you come back and you wipe it. Yeah, you let it sit 30 minutes. Do not let it sit too long. Oh, I told them, I told them 40 to an hour. You think 30 on this? I, I thought the can said, look at the directions. I thought it was 30 minutes. <laughs> Let's look at the product we sell and see what it says. I left it on overnight on the countertop, so I had to sand it off. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have to pass you this over there because, and you're going to want to work in sections. So we're going to do this room. And then we'll let it sit and then we'll do the other room. So I'm not quite tall enough. 
reach on there? So can you reach on there? It says 15 to 20 minutes, okay, and then you wipe it back. And then you, and then you can let it sit for 12 hours, and you can apply a second coat or buff it after you wipe it back. This is a one and done for me. Here. I mean, I can finish that. I'm just going to trade you. Oh, okay. I'm going to answer questions. Okay. <laughs> Jane wanted to know what a number two pencil smells. Go sharpen, ever, go sharpen one, and that's what you Have you ever did. smelled castor oil? Then you'll know. That's what I think it smells like. So we're probably going to need to get more rags by the time we're done with this Yeah, we need, um, we need a bunch of microfiber rags. Or old socks that are lint free. Or... The nice thing is it rolls on real good. Yeah, this, I wish we would have done this with our countertops. Now that we have so much, if we have any left over, I'm probably going to put an extra coat on there. The nice thing too is like if you have a problem with your floor, you can totally just sand it and like touch it up as needed. Whereas like a finished floor, if it gets a big gouge in it, you are out of commission, you know? So, just going to go carefully. Our baseboards are already in everywhere, so that also makes it problematic. Um, your paint's closet needs some. Oh. But they might get some skinny little trim because those big baseboards, they're out. We bought out our local Lowe's and Home Depot out of the big, uh, what are they, 8 inch yeah. baseboards. They're, they're, they're just out. They don't have them. We had to go searching about 20 minutes away to find some. You know what? I think, it got, we're gonna, I think we're gonna have more than we need. Like this will probably take maybe a third of a gallon to do this room. So that's good. It's good yeah. news. Well, and if you were going to do a bunch of coats, like let's say you had like a really high traffic area that you were concerned about, you'd probably want to do three, two to three coats. Yeah. Um, and it would hold up really well for a long time. Um, but this, we weren't even going to finish these at all, so that's where we're at on this. We're like, if, it, if they wear, Here's we'll be, go on that side. Yeah, if they wear, we'll be happy with it. Yeah. I like, when we went to France, I loved all the like, Hundred year, hundreds of year old, you know, 10th century, 15th century homes, and the wood just got beautiful and worn over time, and that's really what I want to happen. So we would, when we were, when we, the first place we stayed was at this monastery um, that was like, I don't know, like 700 years old, something like that, and you could see on the stairs, it was just natural wood. And on the stairs, they were probably started out at about two inches thick. And I'm sure they've probably been replaced at some point. They weren't the original stairs. Um, but they had a divot in the middle of the stairs from people going up and down them so much. And I, it was so great. I loved it so much. So you can also use the white oil wax over painted surfaces, almost like a glaze. Um, the oil waxes come in clear, white, black, and dark. And they're just a little bit softer than a glaze. You know how sometimes glazes can be like really potent? Oil wax is a little bit more gentler and subtle. How many coats? So this is just, we're just going to do one. We're just, the appraiser said we had to do a sealer. And so we are doing a sealer. This, this is essentially, a lot of people use like a tongue oil. And this is similar to that, but not quite the same. And you can you, you can reapply. I think that. this is less harsh than tongue oil. Yeah, tongue oil has natural. like a tongue oil has a, a good smell. smell to it. <laughs> and I I don't like sorry. Am I on camera like that? Oh no. good, they can only see my head, not my bum. <laughs> no, that was bad. All right, I've done all the edges, so I'm gonna back my way out of here. Here, do you want to hand me that real quick? Yeah, you go to that side. We'll roll to this side. We'll show them the floors, and then we'll come back in here. Maybe we just... We'll go show them the stairs that we did. Yeah. Okay. Well, that Jamie did mostly, and then I helped her buff. About 1 a.m., I was like... <laughs> I, was, I was plumbing, and I come out of the bathroom, and I'm like, whoa, that got more involved. <laughs> I had what I like to... I can only describe as like a manic creative moment. I was feeling really backed in that they were forcing me to finish it and I was like, you know what? If I'm going to finish these floors, it's going to be on my own terms. So I, I decided to wing it. It turned out beautiful and 
Literally, Zeb was, I was waxing, and Zeb was like one step ahead of me buffing because I didn't have any strength left in my arms. And if you ever watch Saturday Night Live, there's a skit, and they're like, who's that in my teepee? It's me, it's me. That was me, like Zeb's like legs are separated, and he's buffing, and I'm doing the step <laughs> that he's not on, but we got it done. Yeah, this will probably do our whole bedroom with this one gallon. Yeah, pretty great. I feel like you use more if you don't already have a whitewash, but the whitewash, um, the floor, like wood is only gonna soak up so much. This is not something that sits on top of the floor. This is something that soaks in. So essentially the way this works is because the floor has already absorbed the wax, it's not gonna absorb Well, other and stuff. it's actually really good for your wood. It conditions it and keeps it from getting dried out. Yeah, Odelia was here last night. She can tell you, it was a funny situation. And our countertops have held up to Kool-Aid and all kinds of things, and they actually probably need a few more coats, um, but they've been really durable. And I love it because if I get paint on my countertop, I literally just, sorry, I can untuck my shirt now. I literally just um, sand it and then reapply it. It's pretty great. Things that, things that work make me happy. So we're gonna have to go show them that and then probably get back in here and buff. Do you wanna go? Um, find us some rags? Yeah. We're probably gonna have to use the rags that we use to wipe. Oh, just go bring them out really good and that'll be okay. fine. We're in my bedroom in case you're wondering. And these are all antique doors. And for now we're leaving the deadbolts, but eventually we'll pull them out, fill them. I haven't decided if I'm gonna paint them or not. I haven't decided if these are are with the black paint. Last week, you saw Waste Not Wednesday, we painted these doors. These are the doors that we painted. Um, and I'll show you the handles while I'm finishing that. They're pretty cool. We're going to be carrying the handles at um, January Vintage Home, but I had to get them first to decide if they were quality enough to sell. You can come on in, Mark. That's Mark, the neighbor guy, also known as the title extraordinaire. Okay. So these are the French poles that are gonna be doing, going on our bedroom door. So we have four of them. And they're kind of like an antique style and I can love them. They're cast iron, which Zeb loves. And they're like, girthy. They're gonna be cool on the door. Yeah, here we'll show them. So to lock the door, we're just gonna put a latch on that? the bottom and then there'll be like a catch that you can access on the one side, but don't. Can you guys see that? It's really subtle because the door is black. And we're gonna wind up black waxing the doors too, just so that way they wear Here, well. I'll give them a side angle so they can see the handle. And DIY paint's so easy to use. My friends actually, it's dusty, so ignore that, but my friends um, finished painting these and they did amazing. They never painted doors in their life. I was like, here's a paint, here's a brush. Let me go find my shoes. <laughs> okay. Um, are you gonna go get- Yeah, I'm gonna go get those rags. Um, here, talk to the people, I can't just like walk away. <laughs> it's all right. They don't need us. They have conversations That's all the time. <laughs> They're all, we're all friends here. No, you can run the grinder, Mark. We'll be good. You guys okay if Mark runs the grinder? Okay. So these are the stairs. We're going to number them with our stencils, the JRV stencils. Um, but this is Prairie. No, it's Weatherwood. Oh, Weatherwood. Show from the bottom. Into the I will. I just, I like to show them the top angle because it makes That's people good. nervous to see how high these stairs are. And I don't know why, but the, te the older brother teasing me, I'm like, hey, 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 look how high this is. Yeah, don't <laughs> mind our walls. They haven't been wiped down since the pigment got everywhere. Um, we did our banisters too. We got those painted and white waxed. Sorry, you guys. That's how I have to hold the camera. I'm not teasing anymore. That's just the way it worked out. Um, last night, one of my best girlfriends, Kelly, came over and we did, she did this banister over here and I did that banister up there and we white waxed them because white wax just kind of hides all the Let's situations. Let's see, what can the camera see? Let me I squeeze you over I here. I wasn't planning on doing this, but this is another little love note that the appraiser was like, oh, the banister needs to be finished. I'm like, oh. All right, so we've got drinking fountain there. Never mind the dust. We've been sanding yeah. like crazy. It wipes right off. Yeah. Okay, so all 17 steps we're and, gonna get them numbered and it'll be cool and a lot of people i mean this isn't for everybody but for me this is a really great worn look i need to go in with like a little detail brush and wax the corners because it was hard to get in there with a wax brush but i think we've already walked on this morning but let me 
Can you show them the sheen? Like these um, are. They got a little bit of shine already, even after. Hold on, I want to show you guys. Watch. You hear that? So because clay paint is got natural clay pigments in it, you can polish it to a sheen and get it really rock solid. So I actually this morning took like 400 grit sandpaper um, after Zeb had already buffed them and I went over the entire surface and now they are just super squeaky clean, rock solid, way much better than, way much better, way better than if I had put a liquid sealer because people can walk on them right away and if there's any situations that happen, I literally just bust out my white wax and touch it up. Um, and then after 30 days, they're going to dry so hard. They're, they'll wear great over time. They're wipeable. You can clean them with soap and water. They're awesome. And they're not gonna like scrape off because this was raw wood. So it like soaked up the paint. And I really was not neat. Like I literally just slapped the paint on there and started distressing before the paint was even dry. <laughs> So I was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't have time for this to dry. <laughs> so. Yeah, it was still wet and the wax was going on and she'd already distressed it and sanded it. Here's my sandpaper. This is what it looks like after you do it. But they look awesome. And um, we're gonna paint this little ledge white and then I'll touch up that, but the stairs are basically done. And it I'm does look excited. a lot better. We didn't get any bleed through on our redwood post. Yeah, that's, that's the other here. reason we white waxed. And this will get all trimmed out. We're gonna case this and beef it up and it'll it'll look really cool. For now, this is it, but It'll yeah. get corbels up there because you know I like my corbels. Yeah, I think we have some at the old house we're gonna use. So, gonna give you a nice So Jimmy was house. gonna do the risers and apothecary and we just decided to go all weathered wood. Keep it simple, I can, I can paint them later. At night in the lighting, the stairs almost look blue. Yeah, they're almost like a weathered denim look and they're definitely something that is an acquired taste. I know not everybody's gonna love them, but the people that understand my style, the contrast between these stairs and the solid, crisp white of everywhere else is just really great. And like I said, they're gonna hold up really, really well. I'm thinking eventually I may do like a grain sack runner down the middle, cause like not a painted one, but a cloth one, but that's down the road. You show the mudroom too, we've come a long way with this. Oh yeah, mudroom we have couple little pieces of trim there. This is this is like the one eye twitch I have. I'm gonna try to fix that with trim. Um, you can kind of see how it goes up, but that's where the old chimney is. There's brick behind there. So I'm like, how do I fix that without like completely dismantling that old chimney? <laughs> yeah, so we just gotta fix that trim there. And then this is the old exterior of the house. And I cleaned it up literally just by when I sprayed the ceilings which if you guys saw my Insta stories, I was covered in spray. I just sprayed the walls. I'm like, they, they were cleanish and they look a thousand times better. Sometimes you just gotta, just gotta get done. All right. Okay, let's go. Are we, has he's it been? Grinding, so he's grinding. Let's show him the shower. Let's show him the shower. I'm getting ready to put this fixture in in a minute. Yeah, this shower is done. Minus some trim and these are the only doors in the house that aren't old. Well, I guess the other French doors aren't old either. They're old new stock. Yeah, these ones I are new. I paid full retail. For How either. much were these doors a piece? Oh, I don't want to say. They're like four or $500. I think it was 900 for both doors. We have two of they're them. They're solid wood. That's but they're why. solid wood, 36 inch, five panel doors. So I think it was 500 for two. And they came white, which is awesome. So I don't have to paint them. Yeah, they're already white. So we'll leave these ones alone. It's okay. They're 36 inches wide, um, so they're ADA. That's why I had to buy new doors, because old doors aren't that big. And they're a little expensive, but solid wood is great for sound barrier. And we've got this big Mama Jamma TV going out here for the kids. So, and my parents live going to live on the other side. Yeah, there's not really much to show in there but a mess. That's like the messiest this room in the house. Done. I don't know if they've, have they seen this? Or I don't know. The, this is the reading nook. If you guys follow us on Instagram, Jamie Ray Vintage, you guys would have already seen this. Yeah, Zeb's just got to put one more piece of trim there and I got to do some touch-up paint. Um, but I ship left this up the side. We've got our vintage light fixture. We probably have, what, one, two, three, four, five of those light fixtures in the house that we've retrofitted. Uh -huh. um, and those are great waste knots because I paid like 20 bucks for them. And then another... They, they're basically like lampshades. We've been getting the kits yeah. at Lowe's. No. They've yes, got the Lowe's. braided, um, the braided fabric cords. cords. Why is there paint on that though? Because oh, you the sprayed it. Well, you know. 
wash it off. Or... It doesn't wash off easy. I had to get it off the exterior lights too. That's funny. Well, it was 2 a.m., 3 a.m. I was spraying it too. All right, shower still needs some trim on the windows. That's gonna happen here probably in the next 45 minutes once we're done with the video and get the fixtures in. Mark has given me his blessing to go ahead and do that. I actually have to drill some uh, screws to hold hold it up. This is the uh, the shower head into the marble, and I'm like, hey, Mark, is it cool if I drill these? He's like, oh, be super careful. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's this only spent like, like two weeks doing this. This is the <laughs> crown gem of the shower. Like, our shower is giant and massive, but this is the Riyadh tile Carrera marble. Just under ten dollars a square foot. I use seventy four cents a tile in my bathroom. Um, so this, my parents are really getting a really really nice shower. They've got this is a quartz bench top and quartz in there as well. So it turned out really good. And then we've got three um, antique windows. Replaced the glass and the ones down here, but it turned out pretty great. And it's almost zero entry. They've got to go up a little bit. Um, we needed to create a downward slope, so we have like an angle, but a walker or a wheelchair could easily go in there. And we're just gonna do a shower curtain and not a door because it's far enough back that it'll be okay. And we may seal these floors. These are gonna get- With the liquid sealer. May, uh, they're probably gonna oil wax. They're gonna get oil wax? I don't have time for liquid sealer. You know what? I think it'll hold up. It'll be fine. I was Because our counters have hold, held up and they've been all kinds of wet and we've been working on them like- Yeah, did you show them this window above? Like that oh, window's- Yeah, I got to trim up there still. Look so that. that's like open ceiling, but that's gorgeous. And our friend Kenny came in and put in all the trim. Yeah, he, you know he's never done trim. I had him doing trim up top. He's never. I don't think he's used a miter saw. We had him doing that. And he installed two toilets. Um, he installed the toilets for us. So. And he also finished a bunch of and, flooring by the door and never did that. And his floor. wife Kelly was over here painting painting the banisters with Jamie and We've had Chris. Christy was calling. over here this earlier yesterday. that yesterday. Yeah work in so we've had we've had tons of help it's been good i'm gonna try to maybe it's just lack of sleep but you know when push comes to shove the the calvary comes in it's amazing because many hands make light work there's so many things that we've been doing but without the help of our friends that have stepped in that have zero construction knowledge that are willing to help out we wouldn't be able to get this done and i have this is plumbed yeah the i, I just skipped right over because i was okay. looking at this but uh it has been amazing to have the help. I have the water off right now so that I can plumb the other fixtures. So that's just what's in the line, but it works, it's plumbed. I'm trying to figure out how to get my drain pipe with these drawers without losing all the storage of the drawers. Cause I'm probably just gonna cut them a little shallow so they'll be short in the back, but I may not have time to do that. I might just have to knock the faces off and throw them up there for now. You know what you can do? Knock the faces off and throw them up there and then we'll retrofit with a latch that folds down. Oh yeah. That's what we're going to do in our bathroom. So just put them in there, staple them kind of behind so they don't fall out. So they look good. And then we'll come back later and do a latch. These ones I did when I, we originally did it. It doesn't have the knobs on it yet, but I cut the drawers down so that they don't hit the plumbing. So you still have the side drawers, but yeah, they have the full, the they have the full face. The other drawers are just really big, so if you cut them down and pull them out, I'm worried that they're just going to flop out. Yeah, they might. So if you can just make it so that way we could just pull it down, that would be And, super you know, cool. it's still got all the dust from everything because yeah. it's been sitting in here for four months. Gosh, they watched <laughs> us do this forever ago, and the sink was like five bucks at the ReStore. So you can really make This is the original cool. antique mirror. It's got some good clouding in it. Yeah. If clouding bothers you, you probably wouldn't want to use it, but my parents are both uh, kind of hard of seeing, so... Looks good to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. All right. I think Mark's done and let's go wipe those floors back. Okay. Has it been 15 minutes? Um, I think it has. And if all goes well, we will be doing the stay at home shopping network from here on Thursday. Yeah. I've got some fun new stuff for my house. So as long as I don't pass out from exhaustion. Here, get you guys this view yeah, of the stairs. Yeah, I'll get this view of my bum going up. They're, they got some dust on them from us walking up and down because we gotta we gotta de dust the whole house by this evening. But we gotta get these floors done because the dust is not gonna stick to that. Like those floors are squeaky. All right, far and one floors. So here comes the test. Okay, it looks like it's on. Go over in that corner and start where it's been sitting. No, longer. I'm going to come here. Oh, you're gonna I'm do it right here. Across. I guess that makes sense. 
So I'm just wiping it back so it's not streaky and bubbly. It looks pretty good. So I think it'll be okay if you walk on it. You can just wipe, wipe your wiper. feet prints back. Oh, my feet are already toast anyways. I owe myself about. Oh! Don't slip. <laughs> okay. All right, since you've committed, I'm gonna leave you in there by yourself. That's all right, you know what, it's fine. My... Is that one rack gonna be enough? It's what I got, so it's gonna have to be. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite phrase these days is like, you do what you can, and then the rest is made up. So even though she's wiping it back, it'll continue to absorb down in until it's dry. Yeah, you just wanna wipe it back, so that way it's not bubbly and streaky. And what I will probably come back and anywhere that I feel like there's gaps that are too big, I'll just put some caulk on there. The only thing is the baseboards are a little bit toasty. They're gonna be okay for now, but we might come back and paint them again, just along the edge. You had a shirt situation happening. Oh, sorry. You you wore you wore your uh, your pants and you've been working so hard, your butt's literally going away. Literally. I need smaller pants, but I fully intend to eat plenty of food and gain back all the weight, so I'm not buying smaller pants. Oh, these are good. Can you want to take your shoes? Be brave. Take your shoes. I'm just going to walk out there with shoes on. I think you can. You cannot walk in here with your shoes on. Here, I'll just, I'll put it on the tripod and extend it out over. What are you afraid of? I'm not feet? ruining my Star Wars stamp socks. Just take your socks. Oh no, I can't. I don't go barefoot anywhere. You don't want them to see your hobbit feet. No, I don't care about that at all. <laughs> Some work, so I'm going to take the shoes off. There, look at that. I've got like this nice boom over here. <laughs> These are way wider than. Um the floor and then our countertops. But it, it'll watch. probably come back. Yeah, I feel like as it dries. Because the oil wax as it dries. Well, also, once we buff it tomorrow, it will also come back, though. And if you didn't want it to be this extreme, you could just do straight up white oil wax. But I'm really trying to unify the look of the floor. We footage. might get to the point in the evening when we're like, okay. Let's just see what the oil wax does. <laughs> no, we cannot experiment. There's no time for experimentation. I had a little bit of a freak out last night when I was doing the stairs. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I may need to invest in some knee pads. Yeah, might be time. <laughs> when's your, when's Harrington coming over here? Um, he was showering and then he was grabbing a bit of You can see your little footprints in there. Footprints in the... And I can't stop though because you don't want to have weird streaks. No. So I'm probably going to have to do like half of a... Like it's a big room. I'm going to do half at a time. Because... Yeah, because by the time you get done applying it, it'll be on there for the 15 yeah. minutes on the one edge. I kind of think though, like... If I had a slipper with a microfiber rag. You know, they sell those um, lens wool um, applicators. Mm -hmm. That might be good to just, you know, wipe that back. Yeah, it might get do, saturated really fast though and not do much. Yeah, I want to leave it on like fairly thick so that way like, this floor has. Oh, Harrington and Odelia are here. Oh, okay. They're loud. Tell them we're live. I mean, it won't take me long. How many square feet is this? So this room is, I think it's like 10 by nine. Okay. So 90 square feet. 90 square feet. So that's at least maybe 2,510 square feet to go. I got it. Well, not that much because I did the bathroom. Oh my gosh, I love these floors so much. They got like a fun gray tone to them with yeah. the oil wax. Well, because the wood had so much dimension to it, like some of the wood was grayer. Like, I don't know what the heck they did with it, but 
I always rub with the grain so I don't get weird streaks. Well, and the nice thing about the oil wax is it's, if, if we have a spot that we're like, oh, I hate that, you're not committed to that and without doing like a whole redo of your floor or sand down of your floor, you can just go right back over the spot. Yeah, and it will dry hard. And if you're just joining us late in the video, we showed you in another room that wasn't quite ready for the wax, how we did the whitewash, how Jamie's been doing that. So you can go back to the first of the video and catch that if you want to see how we got the white effect. Yeah, I would let, because you're using water to get the whitewash and this is oil, let your whitewash dry for like, I don't know, an hour before you get to the step. Because you don't want water, you don't want your floor still to be wet. And if you're doing a tabletop, make sure you sand it really good, nice and smooth beforehand. I'm going to need another rag. Can you go rag. grab one? Only if you fix your shirt. I've been keeping it off camera. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying. <laughs> your bone's cracking. My bone must crack. Hey, you know what? Construction is hard. Ooh. You need a belt is what you need. What I need is smaller pants, but like I said, I plan on eating some cake when we're done. Some victory cake. I'll just do it right here so we can actually see what I'm doing. Even though I feel like this is hard on my body, there's something satisfactory about like feeling product move through your hands and watching it transform the space. I think that that's part of like being an artist. Sasha's gonna watch this. She's the one who owns Sweet Pickens. <laughs> She's gonna die laughing. You can pick up this at jamierayvintage.com, by the way. I don't think we offer it by the gallon on the website, but if you need a gallon and we don't, just message Caitlin. All right, here's another rag if you need it. Yeah, this one is like. Is that fully saturated? Yeah. We definitely had enough oil wax on here. So we did 90 square feet, and this is how much we used out of that gallon. So you could probably get away with like two or three of just the smaller. So the rag was dry, Wendy, when we started, um, but it soaked up that oil wax, so we had to. So it did end up getting pretty, pretty soaked up and wet. So we had to swap out rags because it wasn't picking up any more of the oil wax because you want to wipe the excess off. Yeah, I will be headed to Home Depot for the 43rd time to pick up more cloths. I think they have like this bag or box of old rags then. <laughs> just get that. They're just, they're just getting your feet. Oh, and I don't know if they can even hear me. I have to do this to get this corner. I have to work my way out of the room. So we're being really cautious that every room we do this in, we're done with, because we're not going back in. By the end of the day, we'll go back in and buff them, or middle of the night, whenever 12 hours happens to be. You can also let it sit overnight and come back and buff them. You just don't want to let them sit with the excess on there because that whatever it has going on, you'll see that. Yeah, and it won't come off. Like if it's got like a streak or a swirly. Yeah. Do you need another rag? Um, I think I'm doing good. I think I love these floors. So to compare it, here's the floor unfinished. This is just red oak that uh, is a little bit dusty and has some stuff on it. Uh, and this is the oil wax with a little bit of dry brush. Well, not dry, I guess it's a more of a white oh, wash. Gosh. Just water. With beadboard, DIY beadboard. And like I said, you don't have to do that, but I feel like it's just better to do it that way. Yeah. Because you're not going to get a lot of 
it really helps. Then you use less oil wax. I would say like this product is probably one of the easier ones we've used, the oil wax. You just have to, with your timing, you just gotta make sure you're not waiting to get the excess off. Cause then if it, like Jamie said, we, we let it sit on the counters for 24 hours without wiping it back. And it had like all the brush strokes and, and marks from the rack and a couple little bubbles. And we couldn't get them out. We had to sand it back. So just don't, don't let it sit. Just wipe it back after about 15, 20 minutes. Um, and then that'll be the finished look that you get pretty much. It'll dry. This will continue to soak in and dry a little bit lighter than it is now. Um, you'll see more of the wood grain. But for the most part, this is going to be the look. Yeah, it'll, it'll lighten up and it'll buff it. Uh, it's going to be gorgeous. And the good news is that my floors will be finished and I don't have to worry about it. The bad news is I have one day to do all of them. I haven't looked at comments, guys, because Jamie put Here's her phone. Are in my back pocket. Oh, they're here. Is your phone alive? Yeah, I had it charged. Kinda you did. All right, let me see if I can catch up with comments. If you guys have asked questions and I didn't get to it, um, go ahead and do it again. Kim McDonald, how much for a gallon of oil wax? Caitlin says they're for retailers only. I don't think we're allowed to sell them. Oh, I'll find out. If, it, if we did retail, it'd probably be like 150. About, a, about 150 bucks for a gallon. I'll ask Sasha today. I don't know. I know Barbara, Sasha. we don't have a long pole set up. We might go and get stuff because we have to do all the rest of these floors. Yeah. Um, we might get something. I do have a long extension for painting, um, but we just don't, I don't think we have the right roller on that to wipe the excess off. And I watched a couple people do other oil type finishes on YouTube um, and on floors and they were just down on their hands and knees wiping it off with a rag because yeah. you got to kind of buff it in. Dang girl, you gotta stop bending Sorry, over. Sorry, you're gonna have to go the other way. I got my feet in here. <laughs> I gotta wipe my knee prints out. I'm gonna be so gross by the end of the day. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> um, thanks for watching us. So Caitlin said it's for retailers only for like doing classes and oh, stuff. Oh, okay. All right, so you can buy a pint though. Well, a um, pint would do about 90 square feet right here. I mean, yeah. Well, maybe a quart. I'm looking at this and we might be a quarter of the way down. Yeah, I would get two pints for your floor this size, especially if you use the whitewash first. Because, like I said, the floor is going to only absorb what it can absorb. So, if you do the whitewash first, it's going to absorb that. And then you put the oil wax. And it doesn't take as much. But Martin, you do the, it it's thick. okay if you guys saw the passcode meandering <laughs> hit in the phone. It's just to keep the kids off of it. And they all know it anyway, so whatever. <laughs> no, it's, it's not a secret. I should probably change it again anyways. All right, guys. We're going to leave it right there. Oh, my all tripod's right. not working I love working you guys. Anything. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you hit up JamieRayVintage.com or the paint and products that we used. Um, and definitely hit up JRVHome.com because there is a bunch of new great stuff. Top of the list, if you guys are organizing a pantry, is we have French canning jars. We have the three liter size, and we're gonna be having a video come up, and I know that once I do my pantry, they're gonna sell out fast, so buy now, so you can get a hold of that, because everybody's organizing in 2021. <laughs> um, also, keep us in your prayers. We need to stay physically, got things going on. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Marie Vintage for more. DIY. Bye, guys. All right, guys, we'll catch you later.